me again. I miss everybody. Today I'm going to teach a cardio and, and stretch class that'll be 30 to 40 minutes. So everything can be done sitting down in a chair if you want to or standing up. It's completely up to you or you can mix it up which is probably what I will end up doing. So we're going to just start with a march. You get those arms going. I want you to sit up nice and tall. Engage your abdominal muscles. And we're just gonna go at your own pace. Good. Then we're gonna march it out a little wider. Then bring it back in. Great job. I'm gonna stand up. If you wanna stand up with me, you can. If you wanna stay seated, stay seated. It's your workout. Great job. Have you reach up, stretch, nice, do a few more of those, that last one, and then let's bring the arm across, good, again, make sure your abs are engaged. If you're standing up, make sure you twist your knee with your body so it doesn't stay stationary. We don't want to tweak anything. Two and one. We're going to go back to that march. Feel free to pick up the pace or slower the pace. Good. You want to go out and come in and out and in and out. Keep going, keeping those arms the same, pumping them like you're running. Couple more, two, and one, good job. Now we're gonna tap the heel. Really try to pull your toes up, give your calves a stretch. We're gonna do a bicep curl, warm up the arms. range of motion you can, but you don't want it to hurt. Nice. Two and one. Drop the arms. We're going to go back to that march. Nice job. All right, so we're going to do a hamstring curl. So you either need to put that chair back a little bit or step forward. So you're going to kick back. I don't want you to kick the chair. Nice. And now bring your arms forward. Abs are tight, and you're gonna row and row. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Take it to a step touch. Swing the arms. Nice, and now I want you to roll your shoulder with that step touch. Open it up, nice. And now roll forward. Good job. Bring your shoulders up and back and down. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna have a seat again. We're gonna move the neck. So drop your ear to one side. And then roll down, chin to your chest. And over to the other side. And let's do that a couple more times. Nice. And down, and over the other side. Let's go through 
one more time. And down. And last side. Good. And then chin down. Back to neutral. Look out over one shoulder. And then the other. A couple more times. Good. And back to center. All right, let's tap those heels up and down. And bring them out and in. Good job. Four, three, two, one, and march. I'm going to stand back up, but stay seated if you want. Good job. Now lift a knee. Stand next to that chair if you need to for balance. Again, pull the belly button into the spine. Beautiful. We got three, two, and one. And tap the heel again. Good. Take this a little bit lower if you want. Nice. And then extend arms back. Good. Four, three, two, and one, and march it out. All right, we're gonna go out, out, in, in again. All right, start. Well, I'm going to start with my left leg. I was going to say, start with the opposite leg as you did last time, but who remembers that? All right, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. So it's both out with your legs and externally rotating your shoulder. So keep your elbows in, bring your forearms out. Good. Working the little rotator cuff muscles in the shoulder. Nice. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Back to that march. Get a little funky if you want to. Nice. All right, have a little kick and kick and kick and a little crunch. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, step, touch. Swing the arms. Good. All right, bring those arms to a field goal position, and we're going to squeeze our elbows and forearms together. Slow it down if you need to. Remember, your pace, your workout. Three, two, one. Drop those arms. Let's shake them out. Good job. All right, let's take a nice deep breath. And 30 second water break. Weather is not looking good this week, so you might see me more often. I'm going to be your sunshine. All right, when you're ready, step touch again. That was 30 seconds. If you need to take a longer break, take it. All 
bring those arms up and have you bring your arms down, knee up. Good, again, abs are tight. If your balance isn't quite there to do this, come next to your chair, hold on and lift and lift and lift. Great. Two and one. While we're all next to our chair, I'll give you a second, those of you who aren't. Lift one leg up and bend and straighten. And bend and straighten. Great. We're going to do ten. That was three. Seven. Eight. Nine, hold that foot up and rotate your ankle. Awesome, other way. Drop your heel, sit back and lean forward and use that chair to balance. Try to keep your head above your heart. Good, and come on up. Shake the legs out. And balance on your other leg. And flex and extend, otherwise known as bend and straighten. There's five. One more. And rotate your ankle. Other way. Drop your heel. Sit back. Lean forward. And stretch out your hamstring, stretch out your calf. Good. Bring that foot in, put your hands on your thighs, and round up. Great job. And roll those shoulders back a couple times. We'll step to the back of our chairs. And we're gonna do some heel raises. So chairs there for balance. Up and down, up and down. Nice job. Keep going, there's four, and we're going till 10. Two, one, stay up on your toes for a second. If you can, let go of the chair, practice your balance, <laughs> and come on back down. All right, we'll walk back to the front. Good, tap those heels, pull the toes up. Give the calves a stretch. We just worked them. Nice. All right, pick up the pace a little bit if you want. You can do some more bicep curls again. We're gonna speed them up this time. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold that toe up, tap it out. Four, three, two, one, and side to side. A little twist if you want to. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, other foot. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, and side to side. Three, two, one. One, march it out, march it like a merengue march. So, a little Hispanic dancing, Latino dancing. What am I trying to say, salsa? There we go. Step out and in and out, in, out, and in, out, in. Good, get those hips going. in place. Good. All right, we're going to do that same thing, but we're going to step forward and back, forward and forward and back, forward and back. Two more. Good. And march in place again. Nice. All right, this time we'll go backwards. So back, 
together, back, together, back, together, back, together. Turn into my chair. Don't do that. And back, back, back. Two. And one. Nice job. And march it out. Nice. All right. We're going to go to a V step. So, back, back, forward into a V, back, nice. Two more. Good. And then march in place again. Back a little bit. All right, we're going to come forward. One, two, three, tap, back. Two, three, tap. Two, three, tap, back. Two, three. Nice. Great job. Feel free to put any music on in your own house. Good. Bring a knee up. Forward. Knee. 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 All right. Let's hold it in place with a tap. Nice. All right, we're going to reach. And reach, and reach. Reach up. Nice. Two, and one, and march it out. Palms up, or those fists up right here. And kick, and kick, and kick. Add the punch. Nice. Feel free to pick up the pace if you want to. Good. Or slow it down. We got five. Four. Three, two, and one. Nice. And march it out again. And tap the heel. We got five, four, three, two, one. Back to a march. Let's pick up the pace for 30 seconds. And then we'll take a water break. Good job. You got 10 more seconds. Good job. All right, when you're ready, start moving again. Tap the heel. All right, we're 
we got a hamstring curl. Starting with singles. Good, now we're gonna go single, single, double. Nice, single, single, double. Good, takes a little more balance. Double, good, single, single, double. Now doubles. Beautiful. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Singles for four, three, two, step touch. it out again. We're going to do a step out, cha-cha-cha, out, cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha and march it out. Swing those arms a little bit. Make some circles. Great job. Other direction. Nice. Come out wide and do it. Ooh, my hips need that. All right, let's do some circles. Go in the other direction. One more. Ooh, houses. Okay, let's go side to side. Let me try to get my hip to crack. Remember, if this doesn't work for you, don't do it. If you have artificial hips or knees or this hurts something, just shake your head at me and do something else. Good. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work for you, but it's for me. So squat down, put your elbows into your inner thighs and try to push your legs apart. You can do this sitting too. Might work better. Just feels good on your inner thighs. Great job. And stay seated or come on up. I want to do some stretching. I like to keep my feet moving just a little bit. Let's keep the blood flowing while I stretch my upper body. So first, I'm gonna have you roll your shoulders back a few times. And then take one arm, bring it across your chest. Use your other hand to pull that arm towards your body. Trying to keep your shoulder away from your ear, so not up like this. Nice. And then take that same arm, bring your elbow up. If you get a good stretch like that, leave it. If you need a little extra, use your hand and pull it back. Shake your arms out. And let's do the other side. Great. And elbow up. straight out to shoulder, right? 
your palms are facing forward, your thumbs are up. Nice, and then make a fist. Open and make a fist and open. Good. And then bring those thumbs down. Great. And then drop your arms behind your back, drop your shoulders down, and then open up your chest. Stretch out the neck. So relax your shoulders, drop your left ear toward your left shoulder. Head up, chin to your chest. chairs. I'm going to have you grab a foot if you can and come back into a quad stretch. If that doesn't work for you, put that leg back and then think about tucking your pelvis underneath and coming down into your leg and you should feel a good stretch right through here. So either of those stretches are for your quad. So if you're in this position, bring that leg through, sit back. Again, these things can be done seated. And lean forward. Nice. And come on up. Leg to shake. Nice, switch sides. Again, grab that foot if you can. If not, bring it back. Tuck your pelvis forward and sink down just a little bit to that back knee. You should feel a good stretch right through here, just the upper part of your quad and your hip flexor. Nice, come on out of that stretch. Bring your foot forward and lean forward. Good job. And come all the way up. Nice. All right, let's have a seat. First thing we have to do is clasp your hands, bring your arms in front. Bring your arms forward and press your back towards your chair. And then we'll go over to one side. And the other. Back to center. Bring your hands to your thighs. Drop your neck, your head, and roll up. Nice. Okay. The next one, we'll bring our knee into our body. Rotate your ankle, and then point and flex, and point and flex. And you can stay there if it feels okay on your knees and hips. Take your foot and bring it across your other leg and then draw that knee towards your opposite shoulder. Nice. 
And again, if it feels okay, let your knee fall out to wherever it goes. If it doesn't feel okay, you can just cross your feet and let your knees drop open. Whichever one works for you. feels okay, and then draw your knee to your opposite shoulder. Great. Feel the stretch down through here, maybe on your low back. Good. And then drop that knee out to the side. Straighten out the leg, bring the foot down, and let's go back in our chair, relax your shoulders, close your eyes, and take a few deep breaths. One more. And open your eyes when you're ready. All right, great job, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Have a good week.